Hi everybody, this is Jean, and I'm going to show you my last trip to the bins, and uh, um, I was only there just a short time because I just don't have the stamina right now. I get tired very easily. I think it's probably from, uh, from being sick, and uh, I will build that back up again. But anyway, <laughs> I couldn't resist when I came home from um, when I came home from my daughter's house to stop at the bins. So uh, let me just show you really quick. I'll just start right in because I just had so much fun with this. Um, I put this in backwards. I took it out to look at it because it said there were two two of these sheets, but there are only there's only one. Uh, but anyway, uh, these are little stickers, and they're Chinese characters. Baby, purity, love, angel, life. You know, I thought, oh, I love that. I have an Asian book that I haven't shown you or worked in in a long time. So that's going to give me... Um, that's going to give me some uh, incentive to work in that. Uh, I also uh, picked up this, not this last time, but I just happened to spot it. And I was really tickled because I was hoping that it would be uh, good because I didn't really have anything to test it with. And it works so neat. I really love it. Uh, but also I picked up some uh, I, some doilies. And I like the smaller ones because I find them easier to use on a page. And here's like coasters. Just a whole bunch of them. And these are just like the ordinary ones. But I thought this was particularly pretty. Uh, with that uh, design on it. So I was really happy to get that. And I think there's probably about 10 of those in there. And then, of course, um, the Valentine ones. And not that so much I use the Valentine ones as Valentines, which I might, which I might. These are in upside down. They're much prettier on this side. Um, but... Um, but I always tear them up anyway. But uh, you know, I, every every doily that you that you find has a different pattern on it. So anyway, I was really I I always pick up the doilies, and I like to use them. Now I did pick up this scrapbooking paper, and it's not that I like scrapbooking per se, um, and I don't like. Uh, I don't really like the um, the layouts, but this one had stickers in it and um, some tags and just just a lot of nice stuff. But when I look at these papers, I think, oh, I would cut that out. I would cut that. Out. I would cut this out. Look at that border. You know, I mean, there's just so much. There's so many different elements that I would take these apart. And um, I would take this apart. Look at little bunny. These are all the spring ones. They actually had a winter one and a um, fall one that I did not bring home. Um, but anyway, I just I just loved I loved all of the elements to this, and I just thought it was just so pretty. And I uh, went ahead and I brought it home, even though I won't use it as a whole. I'll use it in pieces. I will cut this up to death. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Anyway, these are all Debbie Mum Ill um, illustrations. And probably if I had taken uh, taken the time to look at the winter and spring, I would have brought them home. I kind of regret it um, now that I'm looking at it today. <laughs> but it didn't appeal to me when I looked at it. I just I didn't I didn't love it. And I mentioned somewhere about the um, about the mug that I bought. This is uh, a crate and barrel mug, and um, I it just had blobs of color on it, and I just loved it. They weren't even even, and some of these you probably can't even see because they're they're very light pale greenish. Um, pieces but the gray and the yellow come out quite a bit but I've been very uh, um, very 
uh, enamored with yellow uh, for for a while. So anyway, when I saw that, I don't hardly, I don't have any yellow mugs. So when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. But I love how it feels. It holds just the right amount of coffee and it, it's nice. And I'm very happy with my mug. I'm a mug person. So that, that I had to show you. Uh, I also brought home these letters. I was hoping they were all there. They're not. <laughs> they are not all there. But, um, oh, I've got this one in there. You've seen that. Um, of all letters, the A is missing. But, um, as you saw when I was doing my, um, doing my page on the last video, uh, I just turn the V upside down and it just looks like an A. And if I want to, I can draw the bar in, but I don't, I don't always feel the need to. But it has all the rest of the letters and it's a nice size and it's easier to use and can be used in a different way than these letters. These letters, um, they're hard, they were hard for me to see. I had to actually write the letters in white because I couldn't see um, the letters. <laughs> so it was kind of hard. But these are a little bit harder to use. Um, even though I've used them a lot and I really like them. Oops, sorry, I bumped that. Oops. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that to stop wiggling. Uh, I bumped that. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to remind myself for a while that I have to use the V for an A so I don't keep looking for the A. But I was really happy with those and um, uh, more so than I thought I would be. I also try to pick these kind of um, brushes up because these make great dots and uh, you can always use sponge brushes. Uh, I bought these. I think I got three of those. Um, just just for dangles uh, off of journals. This I got the other day. Uh, it says 99 cents. Oh yeah, I did buy this at a Goodwill. This wasn't at the bins. I bought this at a Goodwill. Uh, I stopped in. I just bought a couple things at the Goodwill. But I actually paid 99 cents for this. Uh, but I loved it. It's a postcard stamp. And I love it. It's just just my thing. Um, another thing, in the same bin, they had all kinds of great big, um, cur uh, you know, great big pieces of um, stuff. Um, anyway, they, they, it was just tons of stuff there. And um, I went ahead and I picked these up. These actually um, were two-sided and they were like this with foam in the middle. And um, I just peeled it off because it was all coming apart. They were so old and I just peeled that off and I thought I will use that. I will use that on the cover or inside of a uh, my next bohemian um most bohemian one this one i'm either going to sew it closed because i i like it i think that's what i'm going to have to do because i mean i'll glue it first and then i'll sew it because i don't think that i can use uh, i i love the dangle and i don't think i can use it if i take the whole thing apart so anyway so and that will go on the outside of a And I, um, uh, that'll go on the outside of a journal. So anyway, I picked those up. I was very happy with those. I saw this and I thought, oh, I just love that. I just think that's so cute, that little fairy. And I thought, you know, she'd be very cute to tuck into a pocket. And then I just started picking up some other things. This is a little Japanese, um, it even even the tags in in Japanese a little Japanese um, kitty cat, and I thought, oh, that'll be cute in my Asian journal. I I just love her, love her, and there was another one uh, in that same bin, and I think it is also 
Japanese. And I'm not sure why it hangs this way. <laughs> there might be a reason for it. But, um, yeah, that, that's where the tag is. I mean, that's where the loop is. So it hangs this way. I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but it, it intrigued me. And it's even got a little, little tail here in the back. And the embroidered face of a little kitty, because I see the little pointed ears. But I hope it's not a dead kitty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I picked up this. I'm going to pick up craft ribbon. Um, usually I just let it go, but I actually loved using it at Christmas this year. So I want to make sure I get plenty. Here's another one of these uh, that I got. And... Um, I got this little finger puppet. It's a Folkman's uh, Robin. I'm pretty sure that's a Robin. It's um, it's not bright red, but it's reddish. It's reddish. Anyway, I really like it. And um, uh, I, th I thought, you know, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I liked it. I picked that up. And I picked up some... Some butterfly, um, butterfly lace stuff, and I will cut those apart as I use them. I don't think I'll use them all in one. Um, this is a little Lennox angel, and I thought she would be very cute to tuck into a pocket, just as a little surprise. And um, the same way with this. Oh, let me move all these things over so you can see. Um, I just, I loved her. I just think she is just so cute. And I thought, well, I could take the bell off and tuck her into a pocket. Or I can just keep her to hang. Uh, this is a definite pocket piece. Or just to use in a, um, on a page. But I love the tin, rusty tin bird. Um, this little snowman was just too cute. Look at that skinny little face, and it's a snowman angel. And it's got a little metal loop there on the on the loop. Anyway, it's just too cute. I had to have it. That can go on a dangle. Uh, some miniature... Um, miniature mittens. Aren't they adorable? And I thought those would be very cute in a journal. I just, in, in a winter journal, uh, maybe to do something with um, in January now because um, January uh, when we get a lot of snow and things. Uh, I also found this. It's a Mickey Mouse um, clip, I guess, that you can put things on. And... It had uh, Mickey shorts and it had another loop. It had another couple loops on here of things that are missing. So I don't know what, um, but I thought, well, I love this. And that'll clip on somewhere on something. And uh, this I picked up. You know, I'm always scraping around the bottom of the bins to see what's there. And I saw this and I thought, well, that's cute. I like that. I'll pick that up. And then I found this little dangle, which I thought was so pretty. Very pretty bead. Um, let me put it down here and let me see if you can see it. Put it down there. And then I'll zoom in on it so you can see it. And so that uh, that basically was my my little haul. I think I spent seven dollars. Oh, I got the basket too. Uh, the basket uh, looked wicker. It um, looked vintage, but it does have a made in China sticker on the bottom. So I don't know, but I do. Um, it it feels more like wicker rather than um like reeds of some sort so anyway but i love the shape of it 
I loved uh, the handle, uh, the twisted handle. I loved the sturdiness of it. And when I, I didn't even think about it, I was looking for a box to put all my stuff in. And that was sitting there and I just grabbed it to put my stuff in. And it wasn't until I got home that I thought about it and I thought, oh, that is actually a very nice little basket. So that is that. Oh, and I also have picked up these uh, napkins. Life is good. And I thought, oh, those are very cute. I like those, but I didn't get them on this trip. But um, I don't know if I've ever showed you those. And anyway, so... Um, so that's my haul.